Hey everyone, it's EJ from ByDesign.com. Uh, the other day, a Twitter buddy of mine, uh, we were talking about how we wish there was a uh, center crosshairs in the viewport in Cinema 4D like there is in uh, After Effects. And you can turn that on by turning on the title action safe here. Um, just really useful for you know making sure everything's all centered in your composition. Um, and I looked and uh, you, know, you can go into your view settings, go into the viewport, uh, window and you, know, you have all the render safe uh, shading and the title safe uh, lines but uh, nothing for a center uh, for helping you center anything out uh, you can bring up the crosshairs by using the shortcut keys to navigate around the viewport uh, but it's pretty useless when you're not you know it goes away when you're not uh, using any of the keys uh, Another thing about the camera is that sure you can bring a camera and you get this this orange center dot, but the moment you try to move something and deselect the camera object, that center dot goes away. Uh, so what I end up doing in, is uh, making a uh, center crosshairs in Photoshop and just make a Photoshop image. And I'm going to be providing you with this uh, file in the post, and you just bring that in. And it has an alpha, so you want to copy the image in the alpha and make sure the alpha is uh, ticked on. And what you're going to do is put in a uh, foreground object and drag that texture under the foreground object. And right away you can see uh, there's that crosshairs, which is pretty handy. Um, so now if you want to, so you want to center this by the access point, you just drag that over there and. Uh, can center it and you know, get it get it looking pretty good. Um, if you want to change the color of this, you just go into that Photoshop file, change the color, uh, bring it back in. Um, one thing you want to be careful of is when you render this, that viewport or that crosshair will render. So you want to make sure you have the uh, render uh, tick to uh, the stoplight tick to red, so it will not render out when you actually render your scene. Um, so hopefully. Hopefully this will uh, help you out in your workflow a little bit. And uh, if you if you know of any other way, like I don't, I, I think Maxon just needs to uh, make that make that an option in their next release or anything, unless I'm missing something. But uh, it's the option I came up with. Uh, if you know of anything different, definitely let me know in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching.